I don't know why we always have to have something to worry about. Why could life not be simple and smooth sailing? I don't know. So one problem gets sorted and then one has a new problem to sort and worry about. So after Moore had found the queen was missing, he went back with a new queen. Hello. Hello, Cindy. So, I have something to show you. As you can recognize, I'm here at your land, Bella Pedra. And I have this. This is a small cage. It contains a fertile queen with a few bees to have a queen's court. And now I'm going to check again as we spoke. Um, the beehive that is missing the queen to see if I can see some eggs, if the queen maybe um got back and is functioning or if not i will install the queen i will um, be in touch so on opening the hive more did find um, that it seemed as if the queen had returned and had laid a few eggs, but not many. So he thought, it seems like it was, the queen was quite a weak queen and it, the workers might have ended up killing her after she returned because he looked and there was no sign of a queen, although there were some eggs. Any eggs. Also, the bees they look a little bit restless, just like walking around. Usually, it's a sign of a queenless beehive. Let's call it an orphan hive. Hey, this is interesting. I can see some eggs. Still don't know what to make out of it. Hmm, no eggs. We need to wear. Interesting. 
So despite there being eggs, there was no sign of a queen, and so Moore decided to go ahead with our plan of leaving the new queen in her cage with her queen's court around her for three days and then returning. Okay, so I was a little bit confused back there, but I consulted a colleague of mine, the beekeeper here. Um, so I did see one frame with eggs. They look um, royal egg laying, means one egg pretty much in the middle, in this like circular pattern, but only one frame. So maybe what happened is that the queen did come back but late very late and maybe she wasn't as efficient or not very fertile so maybe she started that's a speculation though maybe she started to lay some eggs uh, the girls didn't like it and then they killed her so the eggs um, that she will that she already laid if they will use it to make a new queen, she, she will probably not be a great queen. So anyway, I have installed here a fertile queen. As you can see, the bees are already interested. Look. It's in a cage, small cage. And it has a sugar candy inside. They are supposed to nibble on it chew on it and release it but um, just to be sure they will accept it um, I leave the plastic cap on the seal and I will break it manually in three days after three days her pheromones should be spread well around and then hopefully they will accept it nicely and as, as soon as she is out she can already start laying some eggs again as you can see the hive is in a very very good um, status looks very good has some honey have some pollen many many bees so I think we are in the right time doing the right thing so that's it for now and next update on Friday. Ciao. Okay. <laughs> Bella Pedra again. Second time this week. Third time in the last 10 days. Coming to check out on the bees. good uh, so I have installed um, the cage of the Queen three days ago and right now we're hoping for the colony to accept the new Queen we gave them three days in order for them to get used to the pheromones so um, I'm going to take out the cage from this beehive and then um, I'm gonna try to go for you know um, to, just to be sure I'm gonna take a little bit of their honey 
put it here and then a little bit of water mix it together make sh like um honey water solution and i'm gonna pour a little bit of it on the queen and then i'm going to manually release it inside the hive the bees will start to lick her to lick the honey out of her hopefully um, she will spread the pheromone well enough for them to get used to it even more and accept her Okay, we did the best that we could. It looks like they did not attack her. She was walking down and because she was wet out of this um, honey water solution, they all started to lick her, which is a really good sign. And that's it for now. Next inspection in a few days. She has a lot of room to lay eggs and the bees really um, need her to survive. This is the end of the swarming season and not a, lot, not a lot of drones are up in the air. So if they do not get the queen now, it would be more complicated for them to have one later on. Alright, we shall speak soon. Thank you. Bon fin de semana.
a beautiful place. Okay, so I'm not an expert on trees. Um, but it looks that some of them are suffering a little bit. I'm not sure if somebody gave them water, but it doesn't seem to be the problem. It looks they have been eaten a little bit here. And I see some, um, yeah, can you see that? I guess, uh, I think this is um, webs of some aphids. And I wonder what could be done with it. Um, probably spray it with some vinegar and soap. You want to go for the natural, more organic treatment. But yeah, I will try to ask around. Can you see that? looks damaged doesn't look critical though but maybe something needs to be done yeah but all in all they look amazing they already grew so much since the first time I was here so that's also good Got a stress, some leaves died, but then, what's that? Yeah, something. Yeah. Some leaves died, but new growth. So nature finds a way. See this stuff? I think it's aphids. Okay. I wish them all well and uh, we can talk about it later. What needs to be done and if it's something that we can do, or maybe they should um, understand or do that by themselves. Not understand, but more of like adapt. Have a good weekend. Well, if you know anything about fruit trees and what can be eating my fruit trees, if it's aphids or any tips on how to solve the problem, I'll be there in three weeks, but I don't know. I'll have to do a little bit of research, but if you know, please put in the comments below if you know what I can do to solve that problem. And if you want to buy some of my merch, the link is below. You can get a t-shirt like this and oh, there's many other, um, styles and varieties as well you, in case you don't want a picture of me on your chest that's okay that's okay i can live with that and as long as you have one of the other bella pedra logos on your chest okay so um yeah if you can like comment below subscribe <sighs> Do whatever you can to grow my channel. That will be awesome. Share with your friends. <sighs> Everything helps. Everything will help this old lady. So, keep safe, keep sane, and I'll see you on my next video.